FBI agents going into the federal prison in Dublin carrying boxes. Sources tell ABC News investigators took computers, hard drives and documents. The FBI didn't say why they are searching the prison, but this site has been the center of an ongoing investigation of sexual misconduct. It doesn't surprise me, given what we've heard from people in Dublin for the last like few months and even years. The FBI says they are conducting court authorized law enforcement activity, but they wouldn't share many more details other than that. The Bureau of Prison says there's been a change in leadership. The old warden is gone and a new one is in place. The Bureau of Prisons releasing a statement saying recent developments have necessitated new executive employees be installed at the institution. We can confirm N.T. McKinney has been assigned as the interim warden at FCI Dublin effective immediately. They refer to it as a rape club. Former Congresswoman Jackie Spears says she was looking into the conditions during her last few months of office. She says the prison denied her access to inmates. And I came uh, to the facility. I wanted to speak to certain uh, inmates there because I was told that they had been raped and they resisted letting me meet with them. At least eight employees, including a former warden and chaplain, have been charged with sexually abusing inmates. Five have pleaded guilty and two were convicted at trial. Emily Shapiro with the California Coalition for Women Prisoners says survivors she spoke with had to endure horrifying conditions. Like a few times when we've gone in to visit people, um, after we've left, we've heard everyone that had a visit was strip searched. And so when you're coming to talk to people about the sexual abuse you've experienced and then you're getting strip searched for talking about it, that can be very traumatic. Both she and the former congresswoman are calling on the Department of Justice to investigate the entire system to get rid of abuse against women. They say no one should suffer abuse while incarcerated. There has to be a performance review that is rigorous and robust so that uh, if you are a prison guard and are of the old culture that somehow tolerated that kind of conduct, you needed to be terminated. In Dublin, Ryan Curry, ABC7 News.